If you've got a set of watercolor paints that you've been wanting to try out, I highly recommend painting this very sweet Mother's Day card with me. It's super simple and beginner friendly. Hello my friends, welcome back. In today's episode of 15 Minute Watercolor Cards, we're creating a very sweet watercolor card that's perfect for Mother's Day. So let me give you a quick supply rundown. I've got a couple uh, blank greeting cards. I just buy these card and envelope sets at the dollar store or at an art store, but you don't want to paint on those. You definitely need to use proper watercolor paper. And then I just glue it onto the card afterwards using a glue stick. So cut some little pieces of your cold pressed 140 pound, nice thick watercolor paper. And that's what we'll be painting on. You definitely don't want to paint just on cardstock because it'll warp and buckle. You'll want to have a little washi tape potentially to keep that card in place, paints, two glasses of clean water, paper towel for blood in your brush. For this project we're also going to use white gouache but it's not totally necessary and then a couple of small round paint brushes, uh, something like a two and a four, number two and a four and then you'll also want maybe a larger brush like uh, a number eight or ten round brush or, or even a mop brush. Okay, I'm going to start by uh, just affixing my card to the table. This is just so that it's not moving all around. This is not necessary. If you're thinking, I don't have any tape, just leave it alone. You'll be fine. And then we will mix up the colors. Now our strawberry is going to be a nice bright summery red. So I'm using a uh, red and just scrubbing at the cake of paint with my wet brush. I pick up the pigment and bring it over to the palette. I'm kind of mixing two reds together here. I don't even know why. <laughs> I'm just always mixing my colors, seeing what I like the look of. Um, and one red was like a little bit cooler, so a little more pinky than the other. You can also mix a little brown into your red to darken it slightly. And I tend to like how brown affects the color and it isn't quite as bright and cheery. I like my colors not cheery, I don't know. <laughs> and then we'll need a bit of green for the tops of the berries. So I'm using deep thallow green mixed with a little bit of olive brown. That just gives a natural green that I really like the look of, but any green will do. And then we are going to be painting kind of a background for our berries. And for that, what I'm gonna do is use a whole lot of white. So using my wet brush, I scrub at the cake of white paint, bring the white pigment over, and then I'm mixing a little bit of cold pink in and a little bit of uh, this peachy color. I think it's called Jaune Brilliant. So that's my basic color palette. Let's start our painting. To begin, I'm using my number four, so a smaller round brush, and I've got my red watercolor paint in there. And we are just going to make a strawberry shape. It's kind of an oval that's a little more pointed at the bottom and rounded at the top. Do not go for perfection here. And I started with a watery red, red, <laughs> red, and then I'm adding some darker pigment into that wet area. So the pigment just bleeds out and has this really nice fluid motion and it gives me a, an interesting color to the berry. And then I'm lifting a little of the red at the top. And lifting is a simple watercolor technique that's just what it sounds like. I've lifted a little of the pigment away. And then while the strawberry is still lightly wet, I'm going to add the stem and some leaves. So I might get a little blending of the red and green. And I like that. We're painting these messy, loose strawberries and we're using simple techniques like wet into wet. So the red bled really beautifully into the wet area. And then we lifted a little of the color at the top of the berry. And then we're letting, um, the green and the red blend a little. So all these wonderful watercolor techniques we can employ even to paint really simple, silly little stuff like cutesy strawberries. So here I'm letting the red pigment just, you know, wander into the wet um, area that I painted. The paint will not go onto dry paper, so you don't have to worry about that. The wet area that you put down kind of creates a perimeter. And then I lift a little color at the top and then, well, everything is still wet, but not too wet. You don't want it puddle wet. You want lightly wet when you add that green top. And then you'll just get a nice gentle blend of green and red. We'll paint one more together. 
letting that red pavement seep out into the wet area. If you wanna add some shading on some of the ones that are beginning to dry, you could do a little wet on dry. And of course, add the green leaves and little stem while your strawberry is still wet. If you're curious about watercolor painting and you feel like you could use a little bit of extra guidance with the basics, like lifting and wet into wet and all those funny words and techniques, I do have a watercolor course available. It's on my website. When you buy it, you get lifetime access. So it's something that you can enjoy all summer long and beyond. Check it out at shadacampbell.com. Okay, next up, we are going to give our card a background. Right now, we've got these three simple strawberries. They look nice on their own, but we're really gonna elevate this card uh, by adding a simple color. So this is where you wanna use a larger brush if you aren't already. I'm just using my number eight round brush and we're using our light pinky peach pigment and we're just filling in the entirety of this card. I'm going close to the tape, but not quite right up to it. So I'm just going to create a really messy border around the edge of the card, but you could do a nice clean white border um, by going right up to your tape line and then pulling the tape off afterwards. And I'm just going around the berries, but I'm leaving a little bit of a white perimeter um, between the peach and the red of the berries. And it, it, it's all kind of messy and silly, but I think it's going to look really pretty when it's all done. So we're doing simple techniques for a beautiful effect, a nice illustrative effect. Okay, we're almost done at this point. We're gonna let that dry. And while it's drying, I'm gonna take my white gouache, which I have sitting here, and we're gonna put a little bit of that on the palette. Gouache is a water-based medium that's highly opaque. It's very similar to watercolor paint, but it's just much, much more opaque. You still need to mix watercolor water <laughs> into it. You need to mix water in. It'll start the consistency of toothpaste right out of the tube, and you need it to be liquidy when it goes on paper. Now you can mix it with your watercolor paints. So if I wanted a pink gouache, I can just pick up a little red pigment here. And that's exactly what I do want. I want white and maybe a little bit of pink because I'm going to use this opaque medium, this gouache, to paint some little seeds on the strawberries. I'll take my small, like my number two round brush at this point. I'm gonna wet it, pick up a little bit of that gouache, and all I need to do is put some little dots and lines on the strawberries. This card is so simple, and I think that's what makes it beautiful. We don't always have to create something super complicated to make something super lovely. So free yourself up to just paint simple things like strawberries and flowers and get cute with it. Now that the seeds are done, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that white gouache and I'm just going to paint some messy little flowers um, to represent the strawberry blossoms. Just doing like little four and five petal clusters and um, they just kind of pop on that nice peach background. And then that's it, I am all done. All we need to do is um, take the tape off, remove the card, paste it onto the actual greeting card and then if you want, you can add a little message. For gluing the card on, I just like to use a white glue stick and then I put it under a stack of books for an hour or something. I find that's the easiest way. And when I write my message, I always do it in pencil first. Otherwise, I'm just bound to screw it up. I'm putting mom on mine, but I think a little berry pun like you're berry sweet or love you very much would be perfect for Mother's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this simple watercolor tutorial. Please hit the subscribe button to make these videos possible and help this channel grow.